We have heard from and helped many of you who've lost your jobs because of the pandemic when it comes to filing unemployment. But everyone suffers when people rip off the system. That means money that should have gone to help someone in genuine need goes into the hands of criminals instead. The Virginia Employment Commission says historically about 3% of payments end up being fraudulent. Often it involves identity theft. A man we're calling Robert tried to file a claim back in June, but found out his information was already in the system. Turns out a fraudster was already collecting benefits in his name, and they didn't care that he had a wife and four kids. Being laid off from work, can't, can't work, and can't get the unemployment is kind of struggling. I mean, it is a struggle because, you know, bills are good. Uh, we're aware of it, and we are working with state uh, local, state, and federal authorities to, to address these instances of, of identity theft. Investigative reporter Chris Horn will show us what happened when we told the VEC about Robert's situation, how fraud directly affects business owners, and how much money gets into the hands of unemployment cheaters. Look for his special report, Deceiving for Dollars, on Wavy News 10, beginning at 4.